Hi, welcome to my channel, Education Leaves. Today we are going to discuss about, production planning, and control. So, what is production planning, and control? Production is the transformation of raw material into finished goods. Planning looks ahead anticipate possible problems, and decides in advance as to how the production carried out in the best way. And control makes sure that the programmed production is constantly maintained. What is the importance of production planning and control? 1. It is necessary to improve the organization for a regular and timely delivery. 2. It helps to achieve better supplier communication for raw material procurement. 3. Reduce investment for inventory purposes. 4. Reduce production costs by proper estimation and increase the efficiency. 5. Smooth flow of product without any interruption. 6. Make sure the proper quality and quantity of equipment, raw materials, etc. are available during production times. A production planning and control system consists of many functions, various functions are 1. Forecasting Forecasting is the process of making predictions of future data, based on the past data, by analysis of trends. Forecasting decides, how many units to produce during a specific time period to avoid the extra cost of storage, and reduces the chance of making outdated products, so, a sales forecast should be accurate, easy to understand, and economical at the same time. Forecasting plays an important role in product development in the future. 2. Product Design Before starting to manufacture a new product or improve a product, it is essential to design the product first. Design department modified and extend the range of an original idea. The design department consists of designer, engineer, and draftsman. Product design deals with both form and function, Form design take care of product's shape whereas functional design deals with its working. 3. Process planning. Process planning is the preparation of the detailed planning on how to manufacture a product, thus it is necessary to plan the process. Process planning determines the most economical way to perform an operation or number of operations to complete the manufacture. 4. Routing. Routing lays down the flow of work in the plant. It determines what work needs to be done, how to be done, and when to be done. From the raw material to the finished product, routing decides the path, and sequence of operation to be performed. 5. Material Control Material control is the managerial activities relating to giving instructions to ensure maintaining adequate quality and quantity of materials for an uninterrupted production process with the objective of minimizing material cost. Material control includes inventory control, cost of production, planning of materials, purchase procedure, transportation, etc. 6. Tool control. Tool control is the process of determining tool requirements, procuring new tools, and controlling tools once they have produced. Tool control is to ensure that the right tool will be available at the time of production. Lost time resulting from incomplete tool planning, it can be expensive as well as causing work to delay. 7. Loading. Loading can be defined as the study of the relationship between load and capacity of the workplace. Loading is the assignment of work given to the labor and machinery without specifying when the work need to be done. 8. Scheduling. Scheduling means when and what sequence the job will be done. Scheduling deals with job orders and machines, it decides which order will be taken on which machine, department, and which operator. You can read it in detail by going through the link in the description. If you find the video helpful, please like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.